Hi everyone, my name is Kay. Today I'll be joined by Pri. We're going to go through how to amend a pay run or pay event that's been lodged to the ATO, as well as how to amend a finalization event if you need to. So please join us for Quicker for today. Hey Pri, thank you so much for joining me for Quick Cutter today. Hoping you can help me out. Uh, essentially, what I've done is I've finalized my pay run. I've lodged to the ATO for STP, but I've actually just noticed that I've made a couple of mistakes, and I'm hoping that you can help me out here. Yes, of course I can. Um, so if you have already lodged with the pay event with the ATO and have also paid your employees, then you can simply create the new ad hoc pay run for the same effect period, um, just from your employees tab and create new ad hoc pay run. Add the necessary changes in the pay run to reflect the right figures, and then finalize the pay run and lodge it directly with the ATO. However, in the second process, I mean, in the second scenario, if you have lodged with the ATO, but you have not yet paid your employees, you can then unlock the existing pay run and then make the necessary changes Finalize the pay run. Once you have finalized the pay run, um, access the employee's dashboard and then go to the reporting. Just from here, report, then STP, and then create an update event. Excellent. Just from the screen. Excellent. So this will actually send the ATO the correct year-to-date figures then? Yes, that's right. Okay. okay, that actually is straightforward. Thank you for that. Um, in terms of what if a business actually lodged their current financial year figures to the ATO under the incorrect ABN? What would they do with that situation? This is a pretty interesting scenario, uh, but we do have a solution for that. So you can use the earning reset event uh, from your employee staff. Simply go to the report and navigate to the single touch payroll. From this screen, click on the down arrow uh, from the create update event. You can see from here. Mine is grayed out because I don't have any successful launched event right now. Uh, once you create earning reset, a message will appear explaining the purpose of this event. You'll have to read through the message, click continue. It will then ask you to select the relevant financial year, employing entity and employees. Once you have filled out all the details, click cr create. The event will appear for you with a $0 earnings. Once you will, all you need to do is verify the information and then proceed further with lodging with the ATO. Okay, so I essentially just reset what I've done. That, that seems pretty straightforward, but how do I then go about actually correcting the ABN? Yes, so once you have successful reset, you will have to go to the detailed section from within the payroll settings um, and then rectify your ABN just from the payroll settings and the details. Mm -hmm. You will then be able to rectify your APN just from the screen, um, as I've highlighted. Hit save. Ensure that new APN is integrated with the ATO and uh, for STP reporting so that your lodgement doesn't fail. The next step depends on the two different situations. If you have completed a finalization event for the final, uh, fi finalize, uh, financial year, if that's the case, then you will need to lodge an amended finalization event which can be found next to the start finalization process um, again from the report and the stp screen and i i don't have any finalization of, uh, event has a reason i can't say it but you will be able to see um just under the start finalization process However, if the situation is that if you have not uh, completed a finalization event, then you will need to lodge an update event um, to correct your APN just from the screen again. Mm. This event should contain the affected employee's actual year-to-date earnings and will now be reported against the correct employing entity, which is your APN. Once the event is lodged successfully, you are done. Okay, that's... Yeah, that doesn't seem as, as bad as I thought. Um, I know a lot of businesses have different branches within the business. Would it be the same process if we needed to update the branch number? The process is pretty much exactly the same. Mm. Um, you'll have to again create the earning reset. Um, once you have lodged successful earning reset with the ATO, you can simply um, go to the payroll settings, go to the ATO settings and amend your branch number. Mm -hmm. From here, let's say 
zero 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 two from zero zero one um, and hit save. Once you have done that, again, the situation remains exactly the same as rectifying your APA uh, with the two different situations, whether you have finalized, uh, completed your finalization events or not. Um, accordingly, you can take the necessary action. And that's it. That's all you have to do and you are done again. That's great, Pri. Thank you so much for joining ClickUpper today. That's a lot easier than I expected. Thank you. Pleasure.